This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs>
I think they had created their 24 fret double cut guitar. Um, these didn't come along until the 90s, uh, 2000s, as far as I'm aware. So they were 24 fret um, double cut. And also, you notice, of course, you don't have the Les Paul normal control figuration. You've got one volume, one tone. I have to say that has ended up being a bit weird for me when I'm on the neck pickup. But I've been going, not on the neck, on the bridge, going for this here. Really strange. I never thought I'd actually get used to a Les Paul control layout, but it turns out that I had got used to it slightly. So this has weeded me out a bit. The other thing that's odd about it is that although there's 24 frets, you can barely play anything on them. Uh, basically, because <laughs> uh, there is a, a mixture of factors, because they're so close together, um, because obviously it's a Gibson scale length, they're, they're closer together than I'm used to as well as this neck join still has pretty bad access. So you can basically do more or less what you could do on a normal Les Paul, maybe a little bit more freedom, but not a lot more. Um, and I think, I, I feel like the PRS um, access is quite a lot better than that. You have uh, a cutaway here, don't you, that kind of is routed out, kind of smoothed out there. Um, so if they were copying... Um, so I'm not sure they did a hugely good job. It's got the sort of 60s style neck where it feels a little bit slimmer than the 50s. Um, aside from that, a relatively cool guitar. It feels really lightweight for a Les Paul and also actually has a, a belly contour, which is interesting. Um, this has got quite a, a nice kind of red flame top, a very red looking guitar. I'm going to do some more videos on it. Basically, I traded this for the um, Mesa Boogie Mark III. I think it's a weird little instrument. It looks quite a lot reminiscent to me of the, the Santana as well, the PRS Santana, if you've seen those. Um, and I think the PRS Santana as well was the first SE guitar. So, yeah, gold hardware, ghastly red finish, um, a, a neck, 60s style neck, I think. Um, I don't think the fret access doesn't, to me, feel as good as an SG. Um, so... All in all, I can see why you don't necessarily see too much about these, but a super lightweight guitar. Interesting to have this kind of volume tone set up. And for sure, I think you could probably guess that these exist because at the time PRS was starting to gain a little momentum, right? So Gibson thought, I'll have a piece of that, which is... Uh, those Gibson boys aren't afraid of suing people, are they? I wonder Paul should get on the blower, shouldn't he? Although maybe there's no aspect of the PRS that is actually patented rather than like whereas Gibson do actually have patents, patents for the headstock at least, don't they? And I think also the body in some places. So, uh, yeah. Paul, why don't you get on the phone to uh, your boy Mark and say, uh, sort this stuff out. Um, if you want that backing track, I'll chuck that up on Patreon. I was sort of just enjoying some playing today because I haven't had much of a chance. I've been swimming with the daughter and we've got Taco Bell for the first time. Taco <laughs> Bell's not much of a vibe, is it? Uh, this came from good friend David Beebe and some uh, non-alcoholic beers, which I'm going to enjoy later. And we're going to go and try some Thai food. Thanks again for watching the channel. If you do regularly and hopefully you don't find it an entire waste of your time. Uh, I've tried to give like a, a, a balance of stuff, you know, from lessons to sort of tone building videos and then, you know, reviews as well, kind of, Lots of fun stuff that I'm interested in as a guitarist. Uh, a couple of different things coming up. I've borrowed an Eros Looper and also a really posh acoustic guitar. So I'm going to try and do, demo them at some point. But again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for continuing to watch this bullshit. And um, I hope you enjoy watching it at least a fraction as much as I enjoy playing. Cheers. <laughs>